All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Let me set my painting back. We're gonna do another mountain painting today. I'm gonna start with my pink sky. That's what I like to use. I think it looks good. This is wet on wet, every bit of this. And I think, just to make sure I'm down far enough, I'm gonna start right in here. I'll go over all this with a two inch brush here in a minute. I kind of just want to place this pink and, bl and blue, I'm gonna use blue also. Put it where I want it with this one inch brush. Everybody does things different. This is how I do it sometimes. Let's see, just put a little right in here. Yeah, I like these mountain paintings. As long as they turn out good. <laughs> if they don't turn out good, I don't like them. About like everybody else, right? I may make this painting maybe mostly mountains. Um, that's what I'm kind of thinking, just for something different. Let's see, it's thalo blue. Let's put a little thalo blue up here. Yeah, so I say I try to make things a little different each time. I mean, I may not even have to. I just feel like people want to see something a little different each time. Some people might like to see the same stuff over and over. I don't know. Everybody's different. This is Prussian blue. I'm going to make this a little, try to get this a little darker up here at the top and in the corner. Russian blue is really dark. So let me get me a two inch brush. I think that's probably down far enough. There's my two inch brush. I'm gonna make sure it's clean. And I'm gonna start feathering this out. Starting your pink. Do not start in the blue. You'll be sorry. I'm just going to go along and hit these edges. See? I like that right there. Now some, now this is, some of this is going to be covered with mountain. But I just don't know what. What parts yet. I'm going to wipe this brush off a little bit. Just get the excess off. Now when I get up here in the blue, I don't want to go back down into the pink. So we're going to get, once we get in the blue, we're going to stay up here. We don't want to go back down. Okay, I think that looks okay. All right, let's get ready to put us some mountains in here. I got my knives right here, so I don't turn around quite so much. I'm thinking three. I'm thinking one pretty close up. I made different mountain colors. This is black, Prussian blue, and brown. I took some out of this pile, put it in this pile, added some white. That's for the more distant mountains. And this is some topping goes on top of the mountain. So I'm going to start with the lightest collar first because it's further back. And I am thinking that it might be right in here somewhere. And I'm thinking that might be it. Let me get a brush and pull that out. Actually, I think I could just use this same old, same brush I just did the sky with. Yeah, ain't no reason not to. We're going to blend it out before we put our next mountain in. Now let's move on. 
I'm probably still going to use probably the same color, I'd say. Uh, I'm trying to visualize this. Maybe I'll put a touch, make it just a little darker. Just a little darker. Let's try one right here, I think. Something like this. Just bring a little hump up right to here. Scrape it off. I don't think I scraped that one. I noticed it after I was spreading it out. My fault on that. Scrape it off. Wipe your knife off. Grab your brush. Let's see if we can pull this out. Like I said, this is all wet on wet. Bring this on down a little further simply because I just don't know where to bring it yet. And I always I don't bring it down far enough most of the time, so I'll go ahead and do that now because it's not going to hurt anything that I can see. All right. Now let's put us a bigger mountain right here. We'll see how this is going to look. I, I'm not sure, to be quite honest. I don't usually do them this way, but just for something different. Mm -hmm. Start right here. Let's go up, down, over, and out. And we're just using our imagination. That's just what you got to do sometimes. As I said, I have no idea what this is going to look like. We're just, we're just going to try our best. We're going to do the best we can do. And I think this might be good right there. Put a little bit more paint up here. As I said, I might make this mostly mountains. Just a painting of mountains. Okay, let me pull this painting out a little bit. I'm just putting a little more paint here. I'm trying to cover up that blue. Because I want this mountain darker. Okay. Let's get a brush. Let's see what happens here. Let me see. That's pretty light. I'm going to... I either need to get a new brush. A different brush, I mean. I think this is this might be okay. It's darker. Let's see here. Let's wipe our brush off a little. This is a lot of mountain right here. Big mountain. We'll see how it works. But boy, this is a big mountain. Man, that's a doozy. 
I don't make them this big normally. <laughs> oh well. Something different, isn't it? Let me just go ahead and pull this on out. I'll go ahead and just... We might as well. I mean, there ain't much left. There's not much left. Just kind of try to blend some of this out. Trying to feather it, make it look as good as I can. Wow, that's different. Like I said, I don't have nothing to look at. We're just using our imagination, and sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. That's just the chance you take. But I'm going to go ahead. My knife's clean. I'm going to start on these back mountains. I made this color. This is nothing but white and a little brown. I don't want it real dark on these two. Let's see what happens. It almost blends at the sky, don't it? Almost. See, I think I, I think I can visualize where I want this one to go. I want it to be something like this. I'm gonna move this knife. I'm gonna knock it off. I can tell already. Keep your knife clean because you're gonna pick up stuff underneath. Let's start right here. And remember what I've always said. I have I have wet. This is wet on wet. But if you paint mountains at home and you have trouble making your paint stick on the mountains, I have plenty of videos that show you how to do that. Just don't put liquid white on your mountains. You don't have to. It's not a rule. Because it is tough. I mean, it's tough to get this stuff to stick. This, this paint I'm using is nothing special. This is... Um, Oh, Winston and Newton. That's what I or Winston. Winton. Winton and Newton. Windsor and Newton. That's what it is. I always buy this paint because for the price, I think it's pretty good. There's nothing special about it. It's not super thick. It's just ordinary medium. To me, it's medium grade oil paint. It's not the expensive stuff. You know, I paint a lot, man. I, I buy things in bulk. Yeah, I buy things in bulk. I buy... Now, th these canvases I buy, these are super cheap also. And that's why they kind of stink. But I paint so much, I have to, man. I couldn't afford to buy these expensive canvases. I buy 20 at a time that come in a box. I'm going to go ahead and add, make a little bit more. I got the feeling I'm going to need a lot of this. And I'm going to add more brown. This is for the front mountain. I'm wanting it just a little darker. Maybe even more brown. But yeah, this paint I have is nothing special. It's just medium grade paint. These canvases are cheap canvases, I will say that. I mean, that's you can tell that. Let's see how much darker this is. Yeah, it's a little darker. I'm gonna have to wind up moving these paper towels. Oh, I don't think how far down. Now this is one big mountain right here. This may be one of the biggest mountains I've ever done. I think it is. I mean, there's nothing here but mountain.
So we'll try to make it to look, look the best we can. Man, I'm barely, I mean, this knife's ready to fall out of my hand. I'm barely touching it. That's how you get the stick. You just barely touch it. I'm, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Not exaggerating at all. See, it almost, it almost fell out of my hand just then. In my mind, I think if I hold it, hold the knife light, that somehow it'll touch the canvas light, which is not true. But in my mind, it's true. I guess that's why I hold the knife so light. Let's put some right here. Let me stand back and see how this is looking. Okay, I don't think this is looking too bad right now. Let's just cross our fingers. I do need to bring this down. Just a little more. I got my paper towels down here to my right. That's what I'm doing. I'm wiping my knife off when you see me do that. Just take your time, man. There, there's no rush. I mean, I'm always in a little rush because I'm on, I'm filming, but take your time. I got some music playing in the background. Trying to stay relaxed. You should do the same. Painting should be fun. I think that's probably real close to being about where I want it. So you have to stand back. That's why I lean back. I, you have to stand back and take a look at what you're doing here. You can't see it very well close up. That sounds ridiculous, but you can't. I mean, I can see it, but you have to stand back to see the overall picture. Well, let's start making us some different colors here. Let's work on some shadows. I'm going to try to use this mountain paint that I have here. I'm going to throw some in here. I don't know how this how this is going to look. It's dark, but you can certainly see it. But is it too dark? Let me put a little bit of white in with that. I'm putting a little bit of white in with what I just made there. Let's see. I don't really want real dark right there. Yeah, these are far away mountains. These aren't supposed to be dark. Of course, now this is the dark side of the mountain, having said that. I don't know, it might be, it's pretty dark. Lighten it up a touch. Let's move on to our next mountain. I'm probably going to have to switch knives here in a second. I had this is my big knife. And I have a little knife. Here's my little knife. I think I'm going to have to use it now. Yeah, 
have the old little knife. Okay, I'm standing back looking here a minute. Before we go any further, let me do a little touch up on some of this. This this is the darker brown, but this this is okay. It gives it call gives more color to it. I'm trying to get my paper towels where I can deal with it. I'm trying to cover up some of these edges here that I don't like. Just make sure you get them the way you want them. You want a you want a nice looking mountain if you can get it. That little darker brown actually looks pretty decent. I'll put a little bit more here and there. I kind of like that. This is the darker brown I used on the front mountain. I don't want a bunch of it, but I, I like some of this on here just for a different color. You may not be able to see it good at home, but I, I can see it. And if you was up, up close, you could see it also. Let's do our back mountain now. Let's see what this color, I'm testing it. It's a little dark, isn't it? Surprisingly, I didn't expect it to be that, that dark. I'm just putting white in, it's all I'm doing. These, this is the mountain color that we used. Let's see what this looks like. Mm, that's not too bad. Getting too much on my knife here. I don't know, it might be a little dark still. I'll pull some out and put it in a separate pile right here. Let's try this area. I want you to be able to see it at home. It don't do any good if you can't see it at home. I, I can see it. I'm standing right on it. But if you can't see it, it does no good. Okay, let me get my big knife back. Let's see what we can do here. I don't guess there's any reason to wipe the knife off now at this point. All these colors are dark or darker. Now I think it needs to be a little darker. Let's see if we can start darkening some stuff up here. Paper towels in my way. And we want it, we want this ridge to definitely be darker. I'm gonna take some of this dark paint I had and mix in here. I'm gonna have to even get it darker than this in a minute. Hitting my easel down here with, the, with my knife. I'm so far down in the painting. Which is making it a little harder to do. trying to get it. All right, let me take a little black. Let me hold this up where you can see. And I want this ridge to even be darker than what it is. Maybe, maybe even a little more black. 
when I say ridge, I mean this. And the reason is because it's closer. Yeah, let's take some pure white with our knife. I got some pure white here. And I'm going to skim over this particular mountain a little bit. If I can get to stick, it didn't stick too well that time. Let's try it up here. Yeah, that's better. Sometimes it'll stick good, sometimes it won't. This gives it an extra layer of collar. Some extra to look at. I think I might come down a little further with this white. Well, I'm starting to put some pine trees in them. I'm going to have to work on them a little bit because this is wet on wet. But. I'm going to show you where I'm going to put I think I'm going to bring them down and bring them back up. I do believe that's what I'm going to do. These trees are just in the foreground. There's nothing. I'd like to have them dark, I believe. To represent that they are close up. And we can do that. We sure can. We're going to bring them down and bring them back up. Let's see, let's put one right here. Small one. You don't really want them all the same size. We don't have to get them the same size. That might be good right there. See, I'm trying to think where I want this one. I'm going to cut right through that. Well, let's start right here. I think that was a good place to start. Let's start here. Pine trees pretty much always go with the mountain pine. You, you don't see what I would call a, I don't know what the main professional term is for trees that have actual leaves on them, but you normally don't see that in a higher elevation. As we're not seeing it today. I may wind up bringing it up higher to cover this bare area here. See, I'm just placing them up. I'm just trying to feel this out. I'm trying to feel it out as we're going along. If I need to make something bigger, make changes, I'll do it. Because we just don't know. We have nothing to look at, so we're just winging it. Put one right here. I may put a pretty good size one right here, kind of trying to frame in the picture a little bit. I may make all these bigger. I don't know. I just do not know right now. Running 
out of black. So it's a good thing we're almost there. Trying to get as much black as I can. <laughs> I'll have to go over these trees again with something. All right, let me think about what I'm going to do and I'll be back. Yeah, I have to apologize. I was sitting here painting away. I'm just highlighting these pine trees. I was sitting here painting away and realized, hey, wait a minute, the camera's not on. Well, a lot of you have seen me do this before. That's all I'm doing. I'm taking pure cad yellow light and I'm packing it on. These trees are really wet. I went over them again with some black. Because I want them to, I want them to be close up, give the impression, and dark darkness will make it look close up. And I'm just highlighting the right side of the trees because the sun is coming down at this angle, and I'll have to stand back and look at this when I get it finished. See if I need to add other things to it. Since we're doing the winging thing today again. Yeah, I just felt like doing some mountains and I figured, ah, let's just make the whole thing mountains. And it just about is. That's one big mountain. Like I said, I think it might be the biggest mountain that I've ever put in on a painting. Just a single mountain. Yeah, I'm packing this paint on here. That's the one thing I don't like about wet on wet. As oil paint is already wet. Well, when you put liquid white or liquid clear on it, now it's even wetter. Let's put a little bit right here on this tree. A little bit there, let's put a little bit here and there. Sprinkle in some collar here and there. See, so you notice I'm not going all the way down because I want it dark in the corners, especially. I will take this down a little further. Plus this tree right here to our right, this big one, is, is blocking a lot of the light. That's the impression that I'm wanting to give. All right, folks, that looks like a wrap. I think it turned out pretty good. Another beautiful mountain painting. Man, I, I love mountains. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.